Question number 7 asks us to simplify the given bits. We will start with the first bit wherein we have been given with negative 4 which is raised to 3. That means negative 4 is multiplied 3 times. So we write it as negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Now negative 4 times negative 4 becomes 16 because negative times negative becomes positive and that is to be multiplied to negative 4. So that gives us the answer as negative 64. Coming to the second bit, we have negative 3 times negative 2 raised to 3. That is negative 2 is multiplied 3 times. So when we multiply negative 3 and negative 2, the product is positive 6. And when we multiply negative 2 and negative 2, the product is positive 4. So the answer becomes positive 24. Third bit has negative 3 raised to 2, that is negative 3's square, which is 9, times negative 5's square, which is 25. And then when we find their product, we get the answer as 225. The last bit of this question is negative 2 raised to 3. So whenever a negative is raised to an odd number, the result will always be negative. So we write it as negative 8. Similarly, negative 10 is again raised to an odd power. So that will become negative 1000. But when negative 8 and negative 1000 is multiplied, their product becomes positive because negative times negative is positive. So we get the answer as 8000. And this is how we solve question number 7 of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.